Okay. So, I think last week I talked about this a little bit. And over the weekend, over the last, like, I guess, I don't know, like three or four days, this thing has been kind of popping off. And it's kind of funny. Because if you look at the internet machine, uh, I don't look at Twitter anymore because I deleted it again because I fucking hate Twitter. It's a fucking cancer. And I just don't want to have anything to do with it. So, anyway, we're just going to look at, uh, we're going to look at, uh, the YouTubes right now. So anyway, the thing I'm talking about is the Fire 343 uh, thing that's going around. The hashtag it was trending apparently on Twitter and Facebook and Reddit, wherever the fuck it goes. But anyway, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of these videos popping up. People are people are getting spicy, getting angry. I don't blame them because uh, uh, 343 is just constantly fucking up. And I wanted to I wanted to talk about this a little bit more quickly before we start start there's a war month before we start doing that because I got some thoughts and I got some things I'd like to share about it and I'm not too particularly keen on making YouTube videos or any kind of thing like that, so I'm just gonna use this platform because it's my platform and I can do what the fuck I want with it. So here we go. So alright, so <clears throat> oh, sorry, excuse me. Got something stuck in my throat. I was eating I was eating mixed nuts and they were delicious, but they're in my throat now. So anyway, you can see there's an a a stream, a plethora, a plethora, a plethora? Yes, a plethora of uh of videos on YouTube talking about three four three and then one and people wanting to fire three four three. And my thoughts go a little something like this. Bungie stopped making uh Halo games. And 343 took over for them after Reach. Or at the tail end of Reach. When three, uh, Bungie was leaving. And 343 picked up the slack. And I think they were dealing with the multiplayer stuff. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. So 343's official first release was Halo 4. Um, and it was the ugliest fucking game ever. Oh my god. The fucking armor sets in that game are so ugly. They're terrible. They're just... The design philosophy is Michael Bay Transformers, basically applied to Halo, and it is just disgusting. And the same thing with Halo 5. So Halo 4 was their first thing that they did. Then you come along, and there were, there, well, there were issues with Halo 4. Let's, let's not just gloss past that. There were definitely issues with Halo 4, but that was, that was the least egregious problem. Uh, then you come into the Master Chief Collection which was 343's next uh, foray into the Halo universe. And, I mean, you could write an entire series of encyclopedias about all the fuck-ups with that, that, <laughs> with that uh, series, of, uh, series of games put together in a tight little package that took, I don't know, what was it, six years to finally get to a working state where it was actually... Basically completed. Okay, so we're seeing something here, though. This is this is this is a, a point I want to get at. Okay, so you get to Halo Five, just an absolute mess. Just narratively, the game was terrible. It was ugly in the same de design philosophy as Three Four Three did with uh, Halo Four. Uh, just just a just a just a mess. Just an absolute mess. Um, and it had problems. It had problems. It was a microtransaction hell. They were trying to cash in on the thing that was super hot at the moment. You know, they, they weren't doing... Well, they were doing loot boxes, actually. I'm sorry. They were card packs, I guess it was. Whatever the fuck it was. It was terrible. It was an absolute... It was, it was just terrible. So, then you get to Infinite. And Infinite literally should have not been released. But for the fact that they wanted to get the anniversary. They wanted to meet the anniversary of Halo. They're like... We gotta put it out on the 20th anniversary. We got, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. The game was not complete. It wasn't finished. Um, it's still not finished. It's the these roadmaps and apology tour that they keep doing every few months is ridiculous. Um, no co couch co-op. No this. No that. No. Didn't launch with Forge. Didn't launch with hardly anything. It was just such a bare bones, just shabby excuse for a game, and that they had to get out because they had to meet the deadline for that anniversary. So, what we see here 
when you're talking about Halo is you see Halo 4 was chasing COD. Halo 5, uh, well, Master Chief Collection wasn't chasing anything. They were just doing a thing. They were putting the old, all the games into a nice little bundle so people could have them. Uh, Halo 5, again, chasing trends, chasing COD, chasing eSports. Um, Halo Infinite, chasing the open world trend. So the two things that we notice, then, if you look at the history of 343, are they chase trends and... The games are fucked up. They're fucked up. So, when you look a little bit deeper into this, you start to understand that part of the culture of 343 Industries is, I don't want to say it's failure, but they have a long history, a long, well-documented history of pushing it down the line. And their mantra has basically been for the last decade, we'll get it in the next patch. We'll get it in the next patch. We'll fix it in the next patch. We'll do it in the next patch. We'll get it next time. We'll get it right. It's you just just trust us. Three more, you know, give us three more months and we'll have it fixed. Everything will be fine. Like the Master Chief was years on end of of them saying, Oh, just you know, just six months is gonna be great. No, trust us, trust us. Oh, I'm sorry. We, well, we can't meet that deadline. So okay, give me give us six more months. You know, we'll fix it then, we promise. We're going to have this fixed, everything's going to be fine. You know, the game's going to This has been something almost from day one that has been a part of 343's culture, their work culture. And you can't blame... You can't blame the people that are developing the games. You, compl you The people that you have to look at are the people in charge because they are fostering this kind of culture where it's this kick it down the line, patch it in three months, say we're sorry we didn't patch it, say it, do it, we'll tell them three more months, and then repeat the process over, 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 over again. Um, so you have to look at people like Kiki Wolfkill, uh, what is it, Bonnie Ross, and I forget the fucking bald dude's name, it, it escapes my memory at the moment. But these are the three main people at 343 that are in charge, that are in charge of creative decisions, business decisions, and everything else. And what they have done with the series, whereas Bungie was focused on making great stories, interesting, uh, at times emotionally, you know, driven stories with a spaceman shoots bad aliens coat of paint on it. And 343 has been chasing trends. Uh, they've been kicking it down the road saying, oh, we'll get it next time. We'll, we promise we'll fix it next time. We'll do it next time. Da, 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 da. No promises, promises, and they never deliver on any of them. And so that's kind of where we're at right now with Halo is that you have a, a, a company within 343 that doesn't have a creative vision. Their only vision, literally their only vision since they've started has been to chase trends and just put a Halo coat of paint on a shooter game. That's all they've done. Their their storytelling has been abysmal. It's been second it's been second place to their attempts to create esports and leagues and you know chase open world and chase COD by literally even bringing people from COD into the studio to help them make the game. I mean, come the fuck on. So what we're seeing now is this fire 343 hashtag or fire 343 industries or whatever it is, but we're seeing a lot of this. We're seeing videos, we're seeing tweets, we're seeing Reddit posts. It's, it's just a myriad of content that people are creating to express their dissatisfaction. And personally, I think this is long since past due. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous that the people at Microsoft, like Phil Spencer and whoever else is dealing with like the, the the goings on and the the functioning of their particular studios and how they function excuse me pardon this is long since past due that the three people that i mentioned wolfkill ross and the fucking bald dude who i can't remember the british bald guy or wherever the fuck he's from they need to be fired plain and simple they they, they have no they have no creative vision their 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 ideas for what the game should be and where it needs to go are just driven literally by market trends 
and storytelling and making good Halo games has been an afterthought at best. I mean, Infinite came out and it did some decent stuff with overhauling the design language of Halo to get it back to a place where it's actually more consistent with Halo 3 and Halo Reach and, you know, the games that Bungie made. And they brought in Joseph Staten, the guy who made Halo, to kind of course correct, but that's not nearly enough, though, because the problem still remains in that Wolfkill and Ross and the other people in lead positions should be fired, plain and simply. They should not be there. They're, it's just... It's ridiculous. It's it's it's. I don't want to say it's malfeasance because that's kind of <laughs> on Microsoft's parts because that's a that's a little bit much. But I mean, they're not they're they're fucking up. They've been fucking up for the better part of a decade, and it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. And here's what here's what needs to happen, in my opinion. You know, armchair quarterback, internet dipshit. Here's what needs to happen. Three four three can stick around. They can maintain and continue doing the live service, chasing the live service thing like they're doing right now with Infinite. But Staten needs to be given control of his own studio. He needs to be untethered from, if they're not going to get rid of Wolfkill and Ross and the rest of those fucking dipshits, he needs to be untethered from them to lead the entirety of Halo production but he needs to have his own studio that is separate from 343 to actually focus on making narrative games because that is what Halo is. That is what drives Halo. I mean, of course, Forge and things like that obviously are a huge part of Halo, but when it comes down to it, it is the stories and the story craft that Staten and the folks at Bungie brought to it that have made Halo what it was prior to fucking 343 destroying it. I mean, in no uncertain terms, they fucked this game completely. So anyway, wow, I've been talking for 15 minutes about that. Maybe I should have just made a YouTube video just like everybody else. But, um, <laughs> so there's that. Those are, those are my thoughts and my feelings about it. Um, I'm bummed out what Halo's become. I'm bummed out by what it's become.